Hey traders, happy Monday. This is Christian from Hertz Tribeca Trade Group and it is uh, May 17th, Monday, of course. So theme of the day, we'll get right to it. Uh, metals and mining, very strong for the day. And the precious metals uh, they finally got going, right? A lot of questions about gold, silver the last few months, uh, especially as we've seen a lot of commodities get going and Gold and silver kind of seem like they're um, they're the last ones to get going here, but uh, but nice. Uh, first things first, risk disclaimer: everything that we're going through is for information purposes only, not giving out any advice or recommendations. Everything that we're going through is for education purposes only. And if you see the screen and it is blurry, YouTube is still rendering the video, so just give them uh, some time to render the high deaf video it does take a little bit of time for them to do that so let's um let's get down to the performance for the day you could see spy was fractionally down um but it uh it came back right in the afternoon um you know we saw i think spy was down about 60 70 basis points at one point for the lows of the day and um came off those lows decently to basically finish flat for the session so um you know overall not a lot of you know, crazy price action in the S&P, but it seemed like there was a lot of things to, that um, offered some trading opportunities for the day. Even if you just wanted to to day trade a little bit, you know, things seem to be um, seem seem to get going uh, a little bit this afternoon. The Nasdaq also finished off the lows. Uh, that was down just fractionally um, from open to close, but I think at one point this the queues were down almost 1.4 percent for the day. So they staged a nice comeback to get um, you know basically back to the open. So um, continue to kind of see this theme, other than you know what we saw on Friday which was a really nice bounce for the growth names, but we're continuing just to see other areas of the market outperform. Um, small caps was also notable too. They were kind of neck and neck with um, with the queues uh, earlier in the day about lunchtime, and then they started to really outperform, and they actually finished, they were the only index uh, to finish green on the day. So, you know, nice there. So let's let's talk about this really quickly. The index charts. So here's your performance. So again, the only index, major index that I see on my screen anyway, um, still very sideways. We're in value. Let's talk about the S&P chart. Um, you know, not much of a move, just down 20 basis points. Again, you know, um, retracing some of that green candle from Friday. But basically finished, you know, fine for the day. One hour levels to watch. You know, we always put these out for members earlier in the day. Um, we are in value for the week. Remember, the one hour charts really give us some really, really good sense of direction, right? We saw that obviously um, last week. You know, decent move down, took out of epoch, went a little bit further, um, and then managed to rally the rest of the week. So this week. Um, you know, I think even though the S&P finished down for the day and, um, and NASDAQ, I, I thought the price action was pretty constructive, right? We'll go through some of those areas, but, um, the level to watch for tomorrow on the upside for one, you know, near term level and a breakout for the week would be 4166. Okay. That's, that's what I'm watching. And I think on the daily chart, you know, of course the support level, um, is 4102 and then also further upside is going to be 4192 which is where we were earlier in the month let's get to some of that price action because i think there were some interesting developments metals and mining you know on fire uh for the day up 4.6 percent for the day um you know a lot of that again if you kind of look what's inside that equally weighted metals and mining etf uh you have a lot of you have a lot of mining just as it says and um and a lot of, no, I was, <laughs> that's, that's really bad. Uh, but also a lot of steel names too. So, I'll, you know, decent amount of steel names, miners, and of course, metal, just as the title says. Um, but this, but, you know, again, you know, look at, the, look at where the strength was today in the market. Gold miners were very strong today. They, fo <clears throat> they followed up from last week's performance. They were one of the only sectors that were, or groups in the U.S. that were green last week. So we talked about the miners. Uh, we talked about both Newmont and Royal Gold, both in Thursday and Friday's videos last week. Um, you can go to minute 20 uh, of Friday's video and um, we broke down that Newmont. You know, Newmont was the first weekly close above value, right? So obviously we've got a new bar and this is just Monday, but you know, 
Newmont is obviously is now doing something different, right? That was a big bar. And again, that's why we pay so much attention to these closes um, once we get out of the range, right? Um, I always do this in just about every video, but let me turn on the profile, the, the volume profile, and you could kind of see that this um, volume profile for 2020, we draw that forward, right? And here was our significant level top of value, 68.81. And you could see that we're through that, right? Um, also, you know, so how does the whole overall group look like? GDX, um, you know, we could rally to 41.84, right? So I did not really do a lot of adding of positions, um, you know, towards the end of last week, but um, I decided even though I had a I felt like at this point was, you know, when you look at something for a day or two and don't jump in and you do take the trade, it's, it was a little bit of a chase um, for me, but I, I think this thing could run to 41.84. So here is my entry in GDX. Um, I also like on an individual basis, Barrick Gold, right? If you look at Barrick Gold on the weekly chart, looks like it could have some more to run, you know, maybe all the way up to 30 bucks, right? And the daily chart, um, 2750 will be a v big VPOC to be taken out, but um, that's what I see in Barrick Gold. And then, of course, silver, right? So silver miners, I, I like this sideways, you know, just move first. So he here's what I look at when, you know, even though I, when I see something that's up like 2 or 3% for the day, is it the first candle or at least not that much of the second day's candle where you start to break out? of a sideways pattern. And that's what I see in the silver miners. Um, we can look at this on the weekly chart too. I think this can move up to 51.45. So I did take that. Um, I did also put up position on in the silver miners. Uh, again, I like to wait for that little bit of confirmation, you know, rather than make the predictions, right? I would much rather have the wind at my back um, and notice that momentum is starting to pick up, you know, rather than make predictions. I'm not a big prediction person. Um, you know, FinTwit is, is big on that, right? FinTwit and, and people love to follow uh, traders that make predictions. Um, but I don't really believe in that type of thing. I follow the trend and I look for momentum and then I really look to, you know, to capture uh, the, the uh, bigger portion of the trend and, and the momentum. Right, so I'm in silver, and I and I was able to take a target in that one pretty earlier in the day. Um, you know, I was happy to get the. I always like to take that first target. Um, you know, if if I can get it on the first day, and um, and then the rest is a swing trade. Dupont, that's a position that I talked about. Um, Dupont looks pretty good here. So again, you know, besides, um, you know, energy was a big focus today. And you can see I went right into energy. You know, we noticed that nat gas this morning was up quite a bit. It did finish up 5%. So you go back to the daily chart, right? A lot of con consolidation here. Um, and we popped out of this consolidation. So it just made me kind of really open to looking at um, XOP. And I talked about this in the, pre in the TTG pre-market session that starts every day uh, just after 9 o'clock. And I said that um, in my scanning this weekend, I noticed a lot of energy names that, again, were not looking extended, but looking like something like an MRO, right? Marathon, right? First day out of here, right? Um, AR, you know, again, first had a first move on Friday out of here. Big, big day today, right? Um, so, you know, when you go through the individual names, the, you'll, you'll find where the strength is uh, in the sector. So that works pretty well right, going through the rest of my trades. Um, yeah, so DuPont made a move higher. Um, FTNT, which, which saw a, quite a bit of um, uh, a, a decent sized call spread that went up, right? So we talked about that this weekend. So I, I like for, uh, FTNT. I think it's the strongest cyber name. Um, nice, nicest trend out there in cyber. And, um, you know, here was the trade. Let's see if I can, right. FTNT, there ended up being about 8,000 of these June 
210, 220 call, uh, call spread that went up. Sneaky because, you know, the biggest lot that went up was 300 contracts. So they, they did a lot of like 100, 100, 100, 100, and they just got, kind of kept hitting the tape with that. So I like that trade, 210 to 220. Um, and that was the first thing that I said that I would um, put on for today. Whoops. Let's go, let's go back to uh, trades. Um, I also, uh, you know, I like some of these mall retailers. So I put on GPS earlier in the day. It actually would have ended up working. Uh, but, uh, you know, the number one name that I was looking at was Abercrombie and Fitch. Um, and this one was up like about 2%, like right out of the gate. And I just decided to look at some other things. But if you look at the space, it's really interesting. Dillard's, I know kind of is like a short squeeze that's going on, but but if you go through these names, and I think we we did a little bit in la one of last week's video too, spent some time in the member video going through these names, but you know they all look pretty similar. So it's not so much the um, the online retailers anymore; it's the physical stores that are showing the strength, right? So a Macy's, um, what's the uh, Urban is another one too that looks pretty good. So I decided to jump in one of these, and I, I did Kohl's. Um, looks great to me, right? Now, it's going to report earnings in a few days. Um, so I, I will only be in this for, for a couple days. But, you know, that's sometimes the um, where you can find kind of the, the alpha is sometimes in the run into earnings rather than the actual earnings report. So I'm, I'm in this trade for now. Um, I was also able to take a target in that one too. So yeah, you can kind of see from the trade blotter, um, you know, even bailing on one name just because I, I, I wanted to be careful about how many names I'm adding on a given day. But Builder was another name, right? You could um, various, just a lot of opportunities today. Um, this name took out, you know, this was, this is a little bit of a different setup, right? Took out a downside VPOC and it looked like somebody was buying uh, was buying the dip on the name and it did you know I established this position early on uh, hoping that this thing would would retake the 50-day moving average and and um, stay inside value and it did just that so again I took a target I, you know I was able um, with today's momentum to take a lot of targets and then you know to leave the residual you know position on so all in all um, really nice day and and um, you know, we talked about, by the way, in the in the member video about, you know, what's going on with the growth names and where I would be interested. So I gave a nice little blueprint about how to kind of watch some of these setups in the growth names and what exactly, what's the criteria that I'm looking for to enter some of these growth names. For now, you know, a lot of them for me, because I'm a, because I'm a trend trader, are no touches for swing trades. Right. Um, and I went through that whole criteria. So, um, you know, that's one of those things that, you know, we send out two videos every weekend for members. Um, and that's definitely in, in one of the videos um, we I, I went over that in detail. All right. And you could kind of see from the names and the research that I did this weekend, which is, you know, obviously a continuation from last week. But, you know, if you look at some some of the areas that, you um, you know, I put on for the weekly watch list trade pretty darn good, right? I got long the gold miners on the open in this particular. So this is different than my trading account. Uh, but you could see, you know, oil and gas up 4% from the open. Um, I even put on a little position in the jets too. Um, so again, sticking with where there's strength. Now, there are a couple other names too that, um, you know, are starting to look constructive, right? Um, we talked about how like a, a very small capital way to participate in upstart via uh, via an, an option, right? So that was a trade idea that we went over um, later in the day. But this looks good, you know, in terms of what we what meets my criteria, right? It is now in value, right? So it's not breaking below anymore. It's above the 50-day moving average, right? Maybe this thing can get to 128. That would be the top of value for the month. All right, but looking better. Um, you know, a couple other names too that saw some option activity. I know everybody loves this um, Unity software. Saw a little bit of positioning. Now it's still, uh, you know, for me, um, the last stance for this thing was, you know, where this thing failed last month. So it, it's got a lot of, for, for it to fit my system, 
um, it's got a lot of ground to retake, but it's becoming, um, but is it start, you know, it's one of those things that I'll continue to monitor. Um, Sono saw some calls, pretty good earnings report last week and a very muted reaction. Now, again, this thing doesn't exactly fit my criteria, but, you know, we, we talked about as well, um, a way that you can play that um, with the June options. That's saw some, some activity. All right, so that is it. Um, you know, there's a couple other growth names I, I'll continue to monitor. Um, but for now, plenty of opportunities in some of these other areas that are that are moving. And, um, you know, today was a, is a, was a good way to start the week. All right, guys. So thanks for watching the video. Have a great night, and we'll see you tomorrow.